Hi again, everyone. I hope you're all doing really well. So during Wednesday's trade, our favorite electric pony workhorse group, ticker simple WKHS, closed the regular session at $5.03 per share, marking its highest closing price year to date. But with many other elements in the market falling, why is this low hope stock showing such resilience? Well, there are two main catalysts currently at work, which I can kind of see working in workhorse groups favor. The first is a general trend which has affected the EV sector and I have discussed before on this channel. Um, that is the current environment where we have seen a jump in oil prices lend favorably to alternative providers of transport options. Hence EV and alternative fuel stocks have been doing quite well lately. And that means Workhorse Group. However, there appears to be another reason why Workhorse Group is having such a good run and that being there is a glimmer of hope for a contract being landed with the United States Postal Service again. I'll repeat that one more time. There is a bit of hope that Workhorse could be making delivery vans for the US Postal Service. Um, it's not a sure thing, as nothing is with this stock, especially when it comes to US Postal Service contracts, but there is a chance. Um, but to understand the situation, if you remember back to last year when Oshkosh surprised fans of Workhorse and won the US Postal Service contract, Following this, Workhorse Group lodged a legal challenge against the Postal Service on the grounds that this wasn't a fair contest and that Oshkosh were only planning on delivering about 10% of the contract as EV vehicles, a vehicle which they had not even prototyped at this stage. Well, after the initial agreement was announced regarding Oshkosh winning the contract and we saw the Workhorse Group stock price plummet, the US Postal Service was pressured by Congress to increase the number of electric mail trucks in the contract. Earlier this year, the White House asked the Postal Service to reconsider its plans. White House Council of Environment Quality Chair Brenda Mallory called the US Postal Service Environment Review Program that led to the sidelining of EVs as flawed. Um, the Biden administration is currently aiming to make all new light duty vehicle purchases for the federal fleet electric by 2027 and to make all federal vehicle acquisitions electric by 2035. In addition to reducing emissions, this would save taxpayers approximately $4.6 billion by 2030, according to a 2021 report. Uh, that analysis did not include the US Postal Service fleet, however. Given that such a small fraction of the initial order was set to be electric, the Biden administration has put pressure on the US Postal Service to do more. So the US Postal Service has now announced that they are going to double their orders of EV vehicles entering the fleet from 5,000 to 10,000 and stated that they will continue to look for opportunities to further electrify the fleet. And it is on this point that workhorse shares have been given a real shot of life lately. When workhorse dropped their lawsuit against US Postal Service last year, they said they wanted to work with them in the future rather than being adversarial towards them in their public statement they released over the dropping of the lawsuit. The subsequent pressure from the Biden administration has almost been a vindication of sorts for workhorse who can say they were unofficially correct in their views that the contract was poorly or incorrectly awarded to Oshkosh. The sense of uh, liturgical mercy which they showed the US Postal Service when they dropped the lawsuit could actually work in their favour when it comes to these potential opportunities to further electrify the US Postal Service fleet. The comments the USPS has made so far do not indicate that future acquisitions will be from Oshkosh and they have stated they are open to exploring other options. So at least in my mind, workhorse could potentially stand to fill in part of this expanded electrifying of the fleet, but who knows? Really all of what is driving the share price at this point in time is a bunch of hype, but it is worth considering that Workhorse Group may still yet get a piece of that US Postal Service contract yet, um, albeit in the updated iteration of it. And I think we are seeing a cautious reaction from shareholders around in response at the moment. Of course, the discussions around what they could possibly get is not the whole contract, which some people were hoping for initially, but a piece of it would re represent a significant sale for Workhorse. Um, workers have lowered their production goals significantly and have not announced any new sales publicly, so landing such a deal could be the catalyst the company needs to turn around the fortunes at the moment, both for their revenue and their reputation. Anyway, none of this should be considered investing advice. I just thought I would shed some light on what I think is currently happening with the workhorse share price. Um, do you think Workhorse stands a chance of earning a piece of the expanded EV plans for the US Postal Service? Or do you think it is likely to go to Oshkosh or some other provider? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Um, also, if there's another stock you'd like me to cover, drop a ticker symbol in the comments and I'll see what I can do. Till next time, everyone, may the markets trade in your favour. Cheers.